debit card. Oh, card. I just said card. Yeah, you lost your fucking card again, dude. You know, I, I, I've known this guy for, what, two to three years. He's lost his card easily. About once a year, man. No, no, no. no. More yeah, than that. Yeah. Easily 12 times. No. For sure. No. For sure. No. Now, he f- lost it and then found it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Majority of those times. Where lost, 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 where you have to get a new one? Three times. Bitch, that shit got stolen one time. You How is lost it? it? You still lost it. It wouldn't have got stolen if it was in your pocket. Exactly. It wouldn't have gotten stolen if it was in your home. Well. It wouldn't have gotten stolen. Like, who leaves their wallet in their vehicle? Was Think about back- this. It was in my backpack? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, in your backpack, in your vehicle. Never once. Never once have I ever... I've done it only a couple times, but I like I, I leave it in the Man. like when when I go get my hair cut. Oh, cause like Don't I'll just you need it? <laughs> nah, I just take cash with me. Oh, okay. I just put it in the side of the fucking door and then just fucking dip. I'm only gone for like forty five minutes at most, you know. It, carrying my wallet is like carrying my chapstick. You just gotta have. Yeah, it. you do the check. I don't Phone, even carry keys, wallet check. If I leave without chapstick, I go back to the house and pick it up. He always had chapstick. I can't. He, he knew, he knew oh, okay, brother, turn the fucking phone off when we're fucking filming, man. It's um spam, dog. Spam likely. Spam likely. You know, there's a setting on your phone that you could turn on that'll. Nah, sometimes like I I like to like get that phone call just to make me like oh, feel like I'm wanted I, sometimes. I like the like they want to fuck with me. You know what I mean? Like I I like that. I like that feeling a little bit. So it was like in the beginning of the pandemic, like how I didn't get COVID. I was like, damn, dog, not even this fucking virus wants me. Hey, how come we haven't done a relationship sh- uh, segment? We can, but James gets uncomfortable with those type of things for Why? some weird reason. It's just it's it's free balling and it's just talking. It it, it isn't doesn't have to pertain. See, to like he's already life. like you see he he does a little. No, and he, he doesn't. He doesn't even want to fucking. <laughs> hey, let's do a relationship <laughs> segment. <laughs> let's do a girl? fucking yeah. relationship yeah. segment with. Oh, I don't even want to fucking go there. Like literally, I don't even want to go there. Take your time. It's, relationship. It's funny, it's funny because all three of us are in like different fucking points of like that. One's at an extreme. Who could like, even call like, this shit a relationship? <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! One's like, <laughs> let's do a relationship segment. One's like in limbo. Jesse, you in a relationship? Okay, no. Okay, no. <laughs> no, you guys, the camera's gonna go to me. Yeah. So on this week's segment, let's talk about chores. Yeah. <laughs> James does none of them. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely okay. None of them. End of segment. End of segment. <laughs> End of segment. Yeah. Fucking James cooks. That's if barely, honestly. Pesto pizza. Pest. Delicious. Pesto it's, pizza. It's not that great. Uh, it's like whatever. It's easy. But yeah, but what was your fucking question, Vanessa? Top three stand-up. Top three stand-up comedians of all time. My top three? Yeah, your top three. My top three. Okay, so number one would have to be fucking Chappelle off yeah. the bat. I think that's probably the majority of people's fucking um, favorites. Next would have to be... I think Bernie Mac is up there as well. Really? Bernie, Bernie Ma- Mac was a legend. Bernie Mac was a fucking G. And, that, a and con- considering like him going to TV, fucking phenomenal. And his little bits in fucking movies that he had. Transformers? Yep. Iconic. That was like an iconic scene yeah, of him. I don't remember. Yeah, you don't remember. When he was uh, buying uh, the Camaro, yeah, Bumblebee. The car, he was the car sales. It was literally the opening scene. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Fucking just, like just stands out. Bernie Mac shows also a fucking classic too. Mm-hmm. And so then, uh, gosh. You're not going to throw Chris Rock in the mix? I mean, Chris Rock is good. I mean, I'm going to go full trifecta. All fucking, all fucking black dudes for sure. Chris Rock, 100%. Yeah. yeah. It, it, dude. The, trifecta, they yeah. just know. Yeah, 100%. What about you, James? No particular order. I'm going to have to put my man Fluffy, Fluff Dog out there. Gabriel Iglesias, really. He's a classic, man. He's mm-hmm. funny, dude. He's a classic because he hits to, like, the whole Latin community. Yeah, that's why I don't, I, like, I could have said George I Lopez, mean, is, you know? he is funny, but it's 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 childish. He's relatable, bro. Yeah, but I mean. I'm not even, like, I'm trying to, like, go on yeah. a fucking tangent of, like, nah, it's just, like, the fucking whole deal with, like, the. Like the bugs he talks about when he like fucking I knew he was up gonna his go car. Do that, yeah. Shit yeah. like that. Like that shit just funny to me, you know? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so um him. Um gotta throw fucking uh obviously Chappelle in there. Fucking great man. 
Um, and then I don't know who else would I pick for like another spot. Who like seriously had me dying? Maybe like some some new shit that I just the uh, the dude who does the crowd work. Oh, pretty, Andrew Schultz. I'd probably throw Andrew Schultz in there, and cause he, I just like the fucking like spur of the moment clowning. That's like what that is, like you know yeah. what I'm saying. Like so, I fuck with that. Yeah, I, I, I like his. shit I think right yeah, now. like my favorite comedian right now, stand up would be Andrew Schultz. It's yeah. just the the fucking the the amount of content he throws out there is incredible. Like he's you know his fucking his fucking podcast is like huge, yeah. Yeah. fucking huge. And then what he did during fucking COVID with the whole fucking Netflix little show that he had. Or with the little segments he had on Instagram, sick. That dude's wild fucking. Card. Yeah, that dude's fucking. So. Who would you throw as a wild card? Wild card. Mm. That's interesting. Wild, wild card? card. Yeah, like I mean. Well, I oh, just told um, you two that I, I I fucked with like you know growing up with those two and then no, that's fine. obviously but those who are I fuck top with now. Three, or like overall, wild card means like you know what they might not not always been funny. But now it's like okay, he's coming yeah. up, kind of, kind of deal, and you, or you don't. Or vice versa, you know, he was funny back then. Now he's not, with them. But, you know, or the, she is not. Me for sure would beat Theo Vaughn for sure. Like that food just fucking. He, I didn't think he was that funny at first, but then like he started like. Oh yeah, fucking turning his stride. The fucking mullet guy in there, yeah, but he um, he's he fucking killing it for sure. I don't know. Wild card for me. Hmm. All right, I got. We'll I got, come back to you. I know we'll come back yeah, to you. I don't know. I got a. I got, I got a good one. What's your like your favorite top three favorite fucking like TV shows that was like a comedian like base like kind of family show? Like Family Guy? He, no, no, no. Like like IRL like sketch. You know, not sketch, but you know, like Bernie Mac show. Fucking everybody hates Chris. Fucking slap. You know, everybody hates Chris. Like, I mean, bro. If, if I compare That's everybody hilarious. hates Chris to Bernie Mac show, Bernie Mac show shits on everybody hates Chris. Yeah, hundred percent for sure. So what's your fucking three? Mm. No, come back to me, bro. Come back to me. What back about to you, me, James? Sure. You got a fucking good memory with this shit. Everybody hates Chris. Was always fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Um, I see. I would probably go with another good one. Hmm. That I would watch sick sitcom style, right? Like episode episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sitcom. Yeah, there you go. Mm. That's, that's what um, it is. Sitcom. Fuck. Oh, King of the Hill was fucking slapping. I fucked with that one. That's animated. Well, that's a different category. Oh, no, 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 no. Not King of the Hill. King of Queens. Oh, King of Queens. That King shit was Queens. hilarious, bro. Yeah, Kevin James? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah. And then, like, see, I would want to throw George Lopez in there, but it wasn't that funny because it was, like, kind of like he got all fucking emotional on that show, so it was kind of not that funny. It was corny, but it was kind of funny. It was there. It was doable. Um, What's another one? I'm trying to think. I like Mm, no, that was, yeah, that was, uh, it was okay. Hmm. Yeah, those are the ones that I could think of off the top. Off, off. Community is a good one. Yeah, yeah. Community for me, it's 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 a good one. Fucking um, Joe McHale, fucking um, Donald Glover, Childish Gambino was in it. Um, Yvette, fucking shoot, yeah, she was on Glow. She's on that Glow Netflix show. Allison Brie, yeah. Yvette is uh, the blonde one, yeah. I, could, yeah. I have no idea what those uh, shows are. Uh, Chevy Chase is in it. Chevy Chase. He's in it. He's hilarious. Dude, Oh, it was, it was, and I got a fucking Tim the Tool Man Taylor, oh, bro. Oh, come improvement. on, bro. That's in my top Home sure. Improvement top has to Home be one of the fucking ones right there, bro. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stupid, but fucking good. That was, that was that good. That one got emotional at times as well. Yeah, yeah it did. did. It did, yeah. but I feel like it was... It was I don't know, that one it was, was cool. Balance, yeah, they yeah. They fucking smashed Home that nomad in there. Too. Like there was just so many icons. Yeah. Home Would improvement fresh was fucking good. Prince fall into that category? I didn't find that that funny. Not really, me neither. Really? Yeah, not really, me sometimes. neither. It was just something to watch at the time, you know, because they were playing it fucking every day. Yeah. That's that's married with children. Married with children. That's that's me right there for sure. Yeah. So for for sure, me with um, Bernie Mac. Home Improvement, Mary with Children, wild and Community. I got my wild card already. I got my wild card. For sure, my four. What's your wild card? Fucking uh, the one with the Wayne Brothers, bro. 
Oh, yeah. In living. Five for sure. Five, <laughs> that's, that's in mind for sure. 100%. That. Easy. Come on, bro. Everybody forgot. And we're out. colored. <laughs> yeah. That was so good, man. Uh, fucking early 2000s. And then fucking, fucking silent, but like pretty still funny was uh my boy fucking Elf, bro. Elf. Elf, man. Elf, Elf. Elf. That's like elf, a. Yeah. yeah, Elf, man. That was a good one. Boy, for, was from outer space, bro? Yeah, yeah. That was a good one. I don't know. The dude with the fucking long nose? The with the long little. nose? The long furry nose? Very little. <laughs> yeah, the alien. Literally, yeah. He's alien. a literal alien, yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Fucking the Roseanne, the Roseanne show was pretty, pretty, Roseanne, no. yeah, it was okay at times. Before she got canceled. Yeah. You know, the, na- throw, the nanny? I, I have to throw Seinfeld out. The nanny, I didn't really like it. Seinfeld was great. For oh, the time. Seinfeld? Seinfeld, for the time, was absolutely. Yeah, we were still, watching it. He was still watching watch it. Watch he still yeah. watches you know, it all the but time. dude. Like that '70s show. Oh, that's. I'm sorry, but there's Fez, so bro, many, bro. Yeah, Fez, like all the fucking little corny lines and shit, bro. It was fantastic. Gosh, there's so much fantastic. good TV. Fez never had parents, did he? Dude, he was adopted. <laughs> he was adopted. Never and he never showed his parents, but yeah, yeah, that that's. Damn, that's. Yeah, I have to lot, throw those. A lot of good there. TV. There's a lot of you them. Like I said, I was trying to kind of fucking think because. It's tough, but there's there, a lot there of fucking lot. shows and then I that were Bernie Mac show. Those would be my yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was yeah. a good one. No fucking. I, I love everybody that hates Chris, but Bernie Mac was just man, fuck. If only he did. Now, now that I was remembering all those, like, yeah, I don't think it, everybody hates Chris. Hit the fucking spot. No, there was some funny moments. There was some funny moments. It was funny moments, exactly. Like Terry Crews, like him being super cheap and shit. Mm-hmm. That was like pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah, and how you had we had cookie. Yeah, 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 like cheese. He had like three or four jobs and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Super, racist. super racist and shit. <laughs> that oh, the mom. Little kid Birds from across jobs. the street. <laughs> Let me hold a dollar. <laughs> Never gonna see that dollar again. <laughs> the 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 little sister. She was pretty funny. Oh, dude, for real. Yeah, she was pretty funny. And then how the fucking the younger brother was like the popular one. Mm-hmm. That was pretty hilarious. Well, he, he was fucking handsome. That's why. I guess. Yeah. I mean, as a Chris yeah, wasn't he, the good looking guy. He was just the smart one. Yep. I wonder if that's I mean, like. Yeah, I don't think he was even. You smart. really think that was like based on his real life? There's a lot of it was probably dramatized, right? A lot of it was dramatized, but yeah, that's cool. What about like favorite like animated fucking? Ah, oh, dude, King of the Hill. King of the Hill for guy. sure. Oh, Family Guy had to get that that like, one in there. Family, the first first five, five seasons, seasons of Simpsons. Of Simpsons. Family, <laughs> Family Guy was good. Uh, no, the Simpsons. Yeah, that since all the way to like season twenty, I think yeah. they were good. Really? Yeah. Mm. A little weird. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah no, it was, it was, uh, Akita the Hill, King of the Hill, Family probably. Uh, damn. Bob's Burgers also. Oh, Bob's Burgers is a, yeah, is a banger, I mean, too. I, I, I didn't get too much into in that there, one. I, I would have to say. It's just like the Cleveland show. I went in there, kind of pulled out. What about South Park? South Park is a wild card. Yeah, that's a wild card. I can't watch that all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't mind an episode or two, but I can't binge. It's too Even much. Hill, I can binge, yeah, bro. South Park is too much, a lot, mm-hmm. like a lot of it. It's also very similar. Every episode is kind of. Yeah, and we're always trying to kill Kenny, huh? Yeah, not trying, not trying. It just, it just no, happens. No. Yeah, but th- that was. Damn, uh, what's my third one? What about those fucking uh, zoo animals we were watching on YouTube? Zoo animals, Futurama on too. Oh, fucking Happy Tree Friends. Robot, robot oh, chicken, yeah. robot chicken. Uh, no, nah, I was never really a fan, honestly. Not really, but yeah, um, Futurama. Well, Futurama was okay. Yeah, not really a big fan, it but yeah, I watched, I watched it for it sure. Different. And it was more of that like adult humor. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I can. I kind of like Family Guy. Yeah, I can see that as well. Yeah. But yeah, that was cool. A little. All right. Tangent. Here's a tough one. What? Top three movies, any category. E, that's Ooh, tough. Bro. That's that's yeah. You can't really so, fucking. Right off the bat, we got to start with a laugh. Mm-hmm. Step Brothers is just yeah, that's in my top. Step Brothers, top ten. Go Step Brothers. Have have you watched it through and through? Yeah, I'll come. Paid attention to it. Yeah, yeah. There's there's so many life lessons in that movie, bro. A lot. There's so many life lessons in that movie. No, I would have to put uh, yeah, Step Brothers. It's in there. It's in the top for sure. Fucking iconic lines, bro. I got a belly full of white dog Dog shit. shit. Now you lay this shit on me. Yeah, Yeah. he was. uh, 
And he's like, I thought he was going to rape me. <laughs> I was, he's like, I'm, I'm so not a raper. <laughs> not a raper? That was totally for the fight. At one point of the fight, he said, let's get it on. <laughs> so dumb, dude. It was fucking great. It yeah. was great, dude. What's up, Unusual Friends? We're here taking a break from whatever the hell we were talking about to talk about our first product sponsor, Original Pomade. If you want that wet, high shine for those Friday night cruises, you can get there. High shine, classic pomade. Or you want that subtle day-to-day flat look, go with the matte. Whatever it is, whatever style you decide to choose, this stuff smells incredible. I use it daily. Easy to wash out of your hair. Forget grease. Forget all those other big-name companies that you wear a hat and they blow your fucking hat away because they just have that too potent of a stench. This stuff is really, I got to say, one of the better ones out there. So... If you want to reach out to our boy Drew, um, Original Pomade Co. on Instagram, or head down to the shop. Original Barber Lounge. Whatever, Old Town Torrance. Whatever's easier for you. Get your hands on a can because it smells incredible, easy to get out, easy to maintain. Local small business, so we got to go and support that. Support those who support you, and 100%. they support the unusual friends. So get at our boys original pomade co and go to the barber lounge and use our promo code unusual friends for zero percent off zero percent off well okay Step Brothers. So, yeah we're left off on Step Brothers. that's uh, we'll do comedies then all right we'll no, do no, no all movies all movies so he said Step Brothers. that's his brothers i want to throw the john wick series in there and i say serious because they're all, they're all the all first good. one was just straight banger you yeah. know and then the third one, just because it just, you know, it's dope. Spanglish. Spanglish is a good Spanglish? movie. Spanglish? Spanglish is a good movie. That's a good movie. 50 for its dates is also a wild card right there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, got it. I think he did it better in Spanglish. One though. of the movies that I could watch again, and it's kind of like under the radar, one of the ones that I would have to put on my top is Chef. Okay. Chef, was- Chef is a fucking phenomenal movie. It really is because you could watch that movie and it's like you'll watch it again because okay. just the fucking storyline of like it. Nice, Vanessa. <laughs> fucking intense. I know, right? But it's okay. Go, keep going. Chef is good. Okay, Chef. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, because I can name all the fucking comedies that are like. I know. I can, that's what I'm saying. But you're t- we're picking tops. Yeah, just tops, top movies. Tops. Top top movies. Okay, movies. Chef. Um. It's another great movie. That's Throw one out there. See if you can spark them. Okay, so mine, obviously, Step Brothers is on there. Then I got uh, 500 Days of Summer. I still haven't watched that one. Yeah, you need to watch it. That's 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 another good one. 500 Days of Summer for me. Fuck. Um, still nothing? No, yeah, I do have a, I have a bunch, Throw one bro. out there. We'll give you a bonus. Yeah. Just in case you remember that no. one movie. Now, you now remember. for me, because it's just nostalgic, for me and my top three for sure are the Homeward, Homeward Bound Fucking all movies. movies, the yeah. all three, the the three of them. I yeah. think the, only, the ones that I really really liked was the first one and the second one. Yeah. The first one when they're in the wilderness, and the second one lost in San Francisco. Banger! I had those movies on VHS. The, the, like I hate the fact that you know dog movies made me sad. Yeah, in the first one when the fucking golden retriever was stuck in that mud pit, yeah. and he's like, "Just leave me, <laughs> dude." I was like, "Yo, don't leave him." <laughs> no, he, no, he's like, "Leave." No, he's like, "Leave me." And then yeah. fucking Chance was like, "Nah, dude, nah, I can't nah, leave you. Why? Like we're family, you know." And the stupid ass instrumental music in the background. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. dude pulling out oh, my when my boy, strings. when my boy Chance got fucked up by the porcupine, yeah. I was I was mad at porcupines forever, dude. Till I realized like the porcupine was just doing this thing, you know. Yeah. It was, it was Chance's fucking uh, um, fuck up. Yeah, he was playing with fire and he got fucking burned. At this point, he got fucking pricked, you know? Homeward Bound. That's Homeward Bound. Homeward yeah. Bound. Damn, that's a good one. The one for me would be The Cat in the Hat. Yeah, I mean, she really loves The Cat in the Hat. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's it's good. It's good comedy. <laughs> you know? I mean, it just, it's just, so it's corny, that's why. And yeah. I'm just like, really? Like, I think because I think back, I was like 10 years old or whatever. Watching it and, and then the jokes on it was jokes, like interesting. But then watching it later, I was like, okay, now, now I, I get, get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before you just knew that that was your laugh key, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Nothing still. Fucking, oh, that's it's so tough. It bro. is. I wanted to throw out Armageddon. Yeah. I wanted to throw out Armageddon, but I, 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 I can't. Armageddon, really? It's, it's a fucking, great dude. Did was you it not Ben Affleck? Want to cry at the end? I can't remember that movie honestly. I really can't. 
I really can't. Willis, I really can't I remember. To cry at the end, my dude. Well, Ben Affleck was in it too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Young Ben Affleck. Yeah, young Ben Affleck. Young like Pearl Harbor Ben Affleck. Uh, Daredevil Ben Affleck. Daredevil Ben Affleck. Yeah. <laughs> I love, love. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, Pearl Harbor uh, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck yeah. You know, Saving Prior Ryan. I, mean, I was gonna Private throw Ryan that one in there, but I'm I'm torn. I'm torn <laughs> between he, he Saving likes Private all those Ryan, fucking military movies. Yeah, fun. Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down is a fucking classic, dude. Fury. And Fury. that Fury, Fury, Fury is, is so good, good, but see, a lot of people sleep on the movie and on oh, which one? On on this movie that I was because I was torn between three, Saving Private Ryan. A lot of people say it's too long, but I really fucking fuck with it. No, 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 no. The one that I fuck with is um, a Glorious Bastards. In Glorious mm. Bastards, it's a good movie, dude. It's, it's a good it's, oh, fucking movie. Definitely, definitely. kind of long. No, it's yeah. always long too. And the, and there's like. Cause there's a bunch of shit going on, like you know, from like the the couple with the movie theater, all that. There's like a lot of shit going on. Yeah. But and a watch. Yeah. yeah. Did you a, not cry? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good. I, one. I, that it's, was a it's a good. It's a good movie. I just don't like how they. The thing with End of Watch, the reason why I kind of didn't fucking it would have been a really good movie is the way they went cartel with it. But it, they didn't. They didn't go full cartel. They just went like it, just tied into it. It wasn't like, oh my god, that was all what the movie. Yeah, was the about. whole fucking. Thing yeah. Because they were still doing regular cop shit, you know, regular, you know, a little bust and regular little this and that, you know. But they just you know, stepped in the wrong puddle and it just went that way. Yeah. You know. Because. I mean, but I mean, if you really think about it, in L.A., I mean, chances are you're gonna run into some shit that you know. Kind of like that, I guess, in a yeah. sense, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, I would go. I would go, Chef. Fucking, I don't know. I don't know between those. I would still have pro- two more, bro. Yeah. I would probably, I would probably throw fucking um, Black Hawk Down in there. Black I really Hawk would. I would probably go with Black Hawk Down, Chef, and then my comedy that I would throw in there. Fuck, man, it's it's tough between fucking Fifty First Dates and my fucking my one right there is fucking Talladega Nights, bro. Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Yeah, I don't think it's a nice fucking good movie. It's fu- fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> Ricky Booby. Ricky I mean, Booby. Ricky Booby. Wild cards would obviously Superbad? have to be. Super Bad's up there as well. Super Bad is up there. Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, I was going to go with that one next. I mean... Napoleon Dynamite is <laughs> Hot Rod. You know, that hot was Rod's fucking. Good hot Rod was Rod's fucking hilarious, bro. Hot Rod's a fucking good one. But, no, oh, yeah, we'd have to do with that. Favorite documentary of all time. That one's easy. That one's going to be fucking uh, Dogtown and Z Boys. Mm documentary yeah well like 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 paranormal activity no <laughs> top three top three yeah. if i had a top three it would be fucking um that's hilarious it would be dogtown and z boys it'd be restrepo if you've ever seen that one I, I, wow. you gotta check out restrepo the fact that you, these are coming out faster than your yeah yeah because i already have <laughs> that astounds me like you already had that huh? fucking yeah like shark week yeah, <laughs> yeah that shit in the bro. fucking chamber. yeah fucking that's um uh dogtown z boys restrepo and um, probably the Bones Brigade one. The Bones Brigade one's pretty good too. Yeah, it's a good one. It's all it, skate. That's a skate documentary. Docs like I my favorite know. documentary. I don't know. It's up there. I think mine's would have with the little peep one. That was a good one. Yeah, the little peep one's a good one. And it was well. It was well produced. Well produced. Yeah, it's just the, the storyline of it, like how they fucking went through it. The only recent documentary that I can remember watching was that Yay one. The Kanye one? That, oh, was, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah it was. Because I was like, damn, like, it, it kind of it makes you understand a little bit more of why. How he is, is who he is, you know what I mean? Now, yeah. Like, for, for him to be, like, to have someone record him, like, his everyday life from the beginning, like, just to know, like, he he is egocentric, you know what I mean? But he, in, in that business, you kind of have to be, right? Yeah. I, w- I would say so. Absolutely. Actually, on my top three, I would have to get rid of fucking uh, Ta- Talladega Nights, and I'd switch it out for fucking uh, Weekend at Bernie's. We- I've never even heard never. of that. No? no. I've, okay. I've yeah, I've heard of it. I just never really saw it fully, but I understand the concept. Pretty it. funny. I yeah, like that yeah, it's one. funny. It, 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 it's pretty funny, I guess. I don't know. I think Ace Ventura... The second oh, one's yeah. probably the best. Call of the Wild. Yeah, I think that's probably Ace Ventura. One yeah, one of them. Yeah, that that was. I talk that, about it all that the time. That shit's pretty know? funny because it fucking the first one slapped and the second one slapped. Cause you, you know you would have thought, oh, they're gonna lose you on the yeah. fucking second one. The second one was the fucking... opening scene, dude, when with the raccoon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just the best, dude. It's just the best. Oh, shit. That shit's so fucking good. But yeah, that, that's all right. Cool. I guess I'm getting off that fucking little tangent. Um. Well, how was uh, you went to that fucking uh, Ventura's National, my boy? Yeah, Dude, yeah. Uh, T 
TFTI. Yeah. Um, so we, we had a group set to go. Cars broke down. Um, so, you know, wasn't going to let that stop us. And we, uh, we pushed out. Me and Nephew, shout out to Nephew, who was up till, uh, you know, midnight doing his thing. Uh, somebody dropped the dime on him, told me what was going on. So then that dude woke up. We woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, got the truck ready. Um, we left here at 5.30. Here, Wilmington area. Wilmington. Um, so we left Wilmington at 5.30, gassed up. Well, we gassed up, and then we, we when I got onto the 110, it was five, 5.29 on the dot. Um, we drove 110 to the 405 to the 10, got off uh, where the 10 ends, hits PCH. Um, drove a little bit, and I figured, you know what, I don't know how the gas, like, on long runs, I really don't know, so I was like, fuck it, we'll put gas. Uh, we put two gallons of gas. We didn't burn that much. It's a fucking six-cylinder. So, um, fuck it, we gassed up, and I told them, all right, well, we'll start making our run down PCH. Um, 55 miles the whole way there, no stops, because uh, there's no, no fuck. there's green lights all the way there. Um, not very many lights on PCH when you hit that, like, right, right. You that, start the coastal the shit. Yep. Um, we got there at... Seven twenty eight. So two about hours? two hours. Um That's minus insane. the stop for gas. So however long we were there fucking around. Um but yeah, two hours. Um it was a cool show. There was uh Gunther's was there, a couple vendors. Um it was a good it was a good show. It was a lot of different shit. I was I was surprised, like I was thinking it was just gonna be like, you know, the chopped and channeled like that style of rides of the customs because it's a custom show but they had some impalas there they had um they had a couple bombs and it was interesting it was a it was a wide variety of cars it was just fucking hot so yeah Yeah, we ended up going uh having lunch in uh ventura uh or not ventura uh camarillo Camarillo. the airport they had a little spot we went and had lunch and uh it was funny because it was Literally, they had the Ventura County Fair, a concert, and that car show all happening where we were at. So, literally, when Chick hit me up and told me that it was going to take an hour to get from Ventura, I mean, from Camarillo, Camarillo to, to Ventura. Ventura, when I looked on my, I was like, fuck it, well, let, let me see how much an Uber is, and it was 20 bucks. It was literally only like an 11 minute ride. So, it was that much traffic trying to get into Ventura. No parking. Parking was fucking Maxed stupid. Out. To get when we when we started to make our way back, um, and that little fairgrounds is pretty tight because it's like right on the beach. It really is, it's, yeah. It's, it's so sick. Like uh, I used to go there for a fucking warp tour all the time. Probably the best, like because I I would be able to go to the the back. Was it the StubHub now? It's like whatever it is right here in Carson. Mm-hmm. They used to have the warp tour there. I went there. Nice. It's hot, close, right, whatever. But at the Ventura Fairgrounds, dude, it's like right on the beach. So it's it's you still get that beach breeze. Yeah, so, th- that helped out a lot. It, it feels good. But um, especially when you're fucking moshing and shit, you know, <laughs> fucking going ham. Funny story, we went to that Ventura Ventura fucking warp tour. We were watching uh the devil the devil wears Prada. We're in the middle of the fucking pit, dude. We're fucking going ham. Me and my fucking cousin Mariano, dude. We're going ham, dog. Fucking moshing and shit. And then I remember in the middle of the crowd, there was the fucking chick getting like tossed around, rumbled, and she was missing an arm. She had a stub. Dude, and then like she was like fucking like you know just pushing people and this and that. And then I remember my cousin was like, "Hey man, fucking help her out and shit." And I'm like, "Cool, yeah." So I brought her in, just kind of like you know trying to help her not get tussled and shit. And then there's like people fucking um, uh, how do you call it? Crowd surfing. Uh, crowd surfing. Yeah, there's people crowd surfing. They're fucking hitting us and shit and like that. And I shit you not, I remember she was like trying to push people, and then I saw her with their stuff, just like <laughs> just like punching people with their fucking stuff. Dude. I was fucking dying, fucking bro. A, dude. And then um, another fucking war tour. We were here at fucking Carson. We were watching Attack Attack, and then they were opening up the pit too, and some like some little girl. I guess she was like maybe fifteen or sixteen. She was getting fucking tussled around too. So my cousin was like, oh, I'm going to help her out, you know? So, like, she was in front of him. So he kind of, like, put his arms like this, just, like, pushing people out the way. Uh-huh. And I guess she thought, like, maybe this was, like, I don't know, like, trying to get close to her or whatever. So she started fucking elbowing him in the stomach. And this was like, man, fuck this. <laughs> and then fucking pushed her. I'm like, not trying to help your ass and shit. But, yeah, carry on. No, nah, so uh, <laughs> <That's my story. laughs> so now we um we made the drive over um no issues with the with the truck that's pretty much the farthest I've pushed it because 
you know, again, I did the fucking route on my phone and I did the freeway route, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was telling me 70 miles, right? Well, yeah, when you take the coast, it's like 90. Yeah. So that was the furthest I pushed that truck. Um, did good on the way back, though. That's when it was like so. More traffic. Yeah, well, because yeah. we, we left at four because. I guess since it was so hot, the fire marshals weren't tripping if you just hit the hit the gate and then bounced out. So they're probably cool because, you know, the crowds were being alleviated and whatnot. So I seen cars pulling out, so I was like, fuck it. We did two more laps, took some pictures, and I told my nephew, like, hey, if you guys are ready to go, we can go. And they were like, yeah, we're, we're over it and shit. So we left at 4. We didn't get back home till fucking 7.15. Nice. So, yeah, because I we were I was thinking we were cool because we went to Ventura, got gas at Costco and then ripped it through Camarillo, took some pictures. Um, We'll put them up there on my Instagram, too. Um, We we stopped in the fields, took some pictures and then ripped it to PCH. And I was thinking, cool, we're straight. It's going to be the same the same ride home. We we're going 55 all the way back. Engine started to get a little hot because it was warm. Um, But we got to fucking uh the dead center middle of malibu malibu fair fucking bumper to bumper traffic from malibu, malibu to fair. santa monica shout out oscar so yeah there was that happening he went to so, malibu high oh he did yeah he went he he, he uh he knew the hadid sisters okay okay yeah he saw them. He no, he knew. He them. knew him. He knew. He him. said he said hi to them. <laughs> <laughs> fucking um. So my thinking, we're we're getting hot now because we're stopped and it's fucking 80, 85 plus degrees. Okay. And not only that, you're in a tin can. And so I'm in a fucking tin can, right? Did exactly. You have your fucking bus lady fan going? No, because it was just hot air. It was mm-hmm. it was worse. So the bus lady fan wasn't rolling. So my did, thinking. Did a little swamp cooler. Well, uh, yes, that's probably gonna happen. I'm not. I'm gonna get those it. ones from TikTok. Those little square ones. You just add ice and water, and then it just blows fucking cool air. Well, we can get the OG one on the side yeah, of the window. That's what I was but when you're not rolling, it's kind of pointless because you can get no air. Throw a fan in there, fool. I guess. Okay. Fool. Then yeah, water fan. I track the fool. Probably doesn't fucking. <laughs> so, um, my thinking when we were rolling in this traffic was like <laughs> nephew, because nephew was rolling with me. My girl was in the back in the chase vehicle. With AC, yeah, <laughs> nice and cool, chilling. right? Chilling. Uh, I said, nephew, well, I'm kind of fucking sorry, but I got an idea. I have an original heater in my truck, right? OG heaters. How do they work? You got a fucking uh, a valve where you open up the hot water coming in from the radiator, and you got two fans. Yeah. Well, we just did the 12-volt conversion, so the fans pushing out air now, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking... In my head. And some of the OGs that I talked to the next day when we we'll, we'll get to that. Uh I was my my theory was right. So the hot air is going to get cooled off and pushed out through the fucking heater into the cab. But as soon as I turned that shit on, we were sitting there, temperature went back to 180 and stabilized mm. cuz we were fucking bitch ass hot in that fucking cab. But the engine cooled off because you're getting rid of that. No, we know that air. That, yeah. that, that, that goes out for like a lot of later models too, 80s, 90s. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, can do that even too. Even in the Miata, like it still sometimes gets hotter uh-huh. than it should, especially uh-huh. when I run AC. Mm-hmm. The moment I turn AC down, it starts to come down. The moment I turn the heater on, oh, I mean, yeah. you're cycling all that that hot water, bro. I yeah. mean, so it's it's you're cooling it down faster. So, yeah. so that it's was the dissipating the heat. That was the fix. It worked. So if you have an older car and you know. Put wetter water or wetter uh, water ice. It's basically because you're in Cali, bro. You don't need antifreeze. Yeah, so we were running fifty fifty, um, right? So was, which is what I run, but mm. we don't. We still don't need that. We literally all we need is just like cool it. I just yeah. like the name antifreeze. So if though. you put like half distilled water and then the other half in like ice or wetter water, mm-hmm. like you, you can maintain those. But um, do you have to like use distilled water ice cubes though? I hate you. And think about it. Now, okay, now, now you're contaminating it. Now, like, technically, another, if you use regular ice. Now, a guy told me too. Just like distilled water in the gallons, you know, just you don't need ice. Guy told me too but yesterday. You said ice. They, they did. Oh yeah. no! Oh, like oh so you, I hope you don't think I actually mean like cubed hey, ice. Oh you no! Said so, it. so check you it said out. It. So, so actually, um, I hate you. One of the check OG told me yesterday um, to get over the grapevine because he drives his shit everywhere. It's his okay. daily. Okay. 
Uh, two thirty five uh, in line uh, uh, straight six, right? Um, he actually fucking stopped off at a um, straight six at a gas at a gas station and got the chunk, the block block ice, and he put it in between the fucking the grill and the fucking radiator. Got over the grapevine, cooled down the engine. Okay, so I didn't does actually, work. That's fine. I didn't actually mean ice. So yeah. ice is a liquid. That you throw in there, uh-huh. and it's like wetter water. It's just a coolant additive. Okay, okay. You know, so, is it like black ice? It's not, it's not, you know... Uh, uh, Does it smell good? Antifreeze or anything like that. Shut up. And then, uh, yeah, and also another side note. Um, you're supposed to have an air gap when you do fucking fill up your fucking radiator. I didn't know that. Got scared when I started air puking gap? out. Yeah. So you're not supposed to top it off. You're supposed to have a little bit of a gap, and the truck will do it for you, apparently. When we were puking out water, the guy told me it'll fucking it'll it'll stabilize to where it feels comfortable and where it wants to run. My understanding, well, at least uh, that may be in older cars because in newer cars, like I recently did a radiator flush, Uh and I you have to um, bleed it, so you have to get all the air bubbles out, so you can't have actually air in it because that's going to create your car to overheat. Mm. I didn't know that. So like, there's there's been people that you know put a brand new aluminum radiator, you know. Dual core, whatever, whatnot. You yeah. Know, core processor, really hot, like, i5. Very high cooling Intel. effects, but then they still overheat, and it's because of improper mm-hmm. bleeding. You know, like you just you got to get all the air out of the system. You know, because mm-hmm. I don't know that little pocket creates just more heat, and that's the reason why you know it uh it, it tends to heat up. But apparently, it makes a huge difference. Like, you know, the car motors just like you know your blood system mm-hmm. can't have no fucking air bubbles in that shit either, dog. You die. You die. Yeah, well. So, but anyways, uh, does your truck run a thermostat? Yeah. So you can also change that uh, to a cooler one. So instead of it, it engaging that 185, like typical thermostats uh-huh. do, you could do it at 165. So it opens up a lot faster. So, you you know, when you're in traffic, you don't have to worry about that. Along with those cooling additives, you should be, you should be Yeah, solid. well, I mean, then we, fa- we fast forward to the next day. <laughs> oh yeah we fast forward to the next day right mm-hmm. and um you know i didn't think about it hit up my boy drew like, hey man you want should we take the truck and he's like yeah yeah because he said he was doing like a video for the pomade so you know, shout out original pomade. shout out original pomade yeah shout so we, it shout it we um oh yeah but local, yeah we locally, made it home made it home famous. from the nationals fucking but yeah we went I hit him up. I said, hey, do you want us to take the truck? And he's like, yeah. And then I, uh, Jose, Jose bought his uh, bike too. Um, dude. I was pulling out here. I checked my little fucking shit on my bike. 107 degrees. Yep. I was like, fuck yeah. And then I took off. So 107 degrees got in my truck. Okay. And I was like, holy shit. I put my arm on the fucking window. Like, I was like, ah, yeah. fuck. It's hot as fuck. fuck I called arm. them on the phone. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This fool pulled up to the barbershop. No shirt. Yeah. <laughs> no shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give shirt a fuck. Off. At that, at that point, like, I, yeah, fucking just fucking hairy belly and everything. I was like, I don't give a fuck right now because it is fucking stupid hot. Yeah. Scorching. And you were sitting on those fucking vinyl seats and shit? Oh, no, at no, no. Shout out. Half cloth, hey, though. shout out yeah. Ch- Chiro because if I didn't have those fucking cloth, cloth inserts seat. that he recommended, we should probably do. Then it would have been a whole nother fucking night. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So there's that. So. But yeah, it looks nice. Leather looks nice, but in the in the heat, in bro. the heat, it's oh. pretty. It's pretty killer. But uh, yeah, we did that little video with uh, Andrew and shit. She was pretty funny. We we're outside. It was hot. Yeah, iconic moment of uh, I've shot like maybe once or yeah, twice. Yeah, so our craps. thing was like we were shooting dice, and then he pulls up and he like you know with this little ice cream little cart thing, and he has his pomade in there. And then, like, we have money out, and he pulls up, and we're like, oh, shit, shit's tight, dog, and give him money and shit. But, we're like, we were, like, he was shooting dice, he was practicing, and then this fool actually hit a seven. And we're like, oh, shit, like, this shit was tight, right? Cameraman looks at me and says, okay, like, now do that when I'm rolling. When I'm and rolling, like, and then, like, more enthusiasm. I was like, oh, fuck, like, how is he going to do it again? Like, we got to fucking, you know... I guess pretend like he hit it or something. And that's, so, and that's when Drew in the fucking video, the behind the scenes. He's like recording like, and shit. And then this was like, I go and then nothing. And then he goes and he fucking goes and he rolls a seven. <laughs> and then we're like, oh shit. And it's like, click, clack, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like all spontaneous nah, and shit. No, because the, the, I guess the cat who was uh, on the side of us watching the game and shit, he was like, he played craps, obviously. Yeah. So he's like, he's telling this fool, he's like, yeah, all right, um, you hit eight. You got hit eight again. Then he rolls again. He's like, all right, 11. You, you cracked. cracked. 
give it to him. And I said, fucking, I said, seven, watch. Go like that, wham, click, snap my fingers, hit seven. Right. Fucking everybody goes nuts, bro. <laughs> right on camera, too. Yeah, that's that was just pretty awesome. funny. Genuine yeah. moment. Yeah. Genuine. Yeah, it was a genuine moment. So genuine. we'll see. Hopefully, we don't get fucking cut out from the fucking video. We'll see. We might. <laughs> we, we might. might. You know, but it's it's okay. It's what happens. It's Hollywood, you know what I mean? Executive sometimes decision. you know, sometimes you don't make it. But yeah. That was... But my uh my screen record lives forever, so we got it. Yeah, it was so hot I had my fucking phone on the handlebars, it fucking was wigging out because it was so hot. It said, Please turn me off. <laughs> turn me <laughs> off. It's like please Put me in the cup holder. Please cut it out. Like fucking uh there's a video I have it somewhere. Infamous uh it was hot as fuck, me and Oscar were writing. And his phone wouldn't turn on. It just the screen was like, oh, uh, too hot. Let it cool down. So this fool fucking put it in the fridge inside Seven Eleven for like a good minute. <laughs> and it worked. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah and it worked. worked. Yeah, it worked. But yeah, that was, that was that was it. So that was our, I guess, our little weekend or little thing that we had. That when was fun. When are you bagging the truck? He's not doing it. Okay. Yeah. So we we have some. Uh, uh what? Yeah. So gonna happen that's the only reason people are watching this channel it is it is that update it is they're gonna here's the update though after ventura it made me realize i like to drive my truck and it was fun it was a fun drive but i didn't like the fact that i couldn't take the freeway there so i'm gonna we i redid the gear uh we we did a gear oil change because and by oil change i mean added gear oil because i had none so Helped out tremendously, but just in doing that, just in doing that little upgrade, that little maintenance, not even an upgrade, just the maintenance, I was like, you know what? I think it's time. So in probably after December, I'm going to park it, pull the engine out, and then uh, flywheel, throw out bearing, a uh, new clutch cable. So basically all that, because in November, I already got the appointment. Uh, shout out Victory Fleetline. Uh, he's going to get me in and we're going to do the pumpkin. So we're going to regear. So that we'll be able to do 65. But see, in between November and going for my, uh, you know, like the flywheel, all that stuff. Between then, I think it'd be a smart idea to do dual uh, dual masters with disc, disc, disc brake conversion in the front. Because I don't want to get into a situation where I'm going 70 miles an hour, 65 miles an hour, and I can't stop. So, and 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 all everybody I've I've talked to said don't go discs all the way around. Keep the drums in the back, and just do a dual master setup. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, just because I drive the truck. Like having a handbrake. Yeah. So just like just because I drive the truck. Well, I, the 69 has drums all around. Mm-hmm. I, I know. It oh. Is, it is horrible. Yeah, of course. Hor- the spongiest. Most drum brakes are un- at, are ass, like un- honestly consistent brake setup you could ever have. Like it's just it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. There's sometimes where it doesn't grab at all. There's sometimes you're like, oh shit, you just lock your brakes. Well, they do. They like I said. I mean, everybody says to do that route because discs. If you're constantly stopping, they get hot. When they get hot, they don't work so well. So basically, do the discs in the front, leave the drums in the back as this kind of like a safety net. And especially if your master goes out in the front or the back, you still have brakes. So that's what I'm. As far as like upgrades, I think that's more important to me than but aesthetics. But I called it though. Remember, I told you he wasn't gonna bag it. I said it. He's scared. He did say. I'm it. not scared. It's He's just scared. no. You're not scared. You're prioritizing. But yeah. He's did. also it's scared. It's gonna happen. He's also scared. It's gonna happen. And I mean, the more I think about it, the more I'm gonna do it. To where it's probably gonna end up laying on the floor. That's probably what's gonna happen. Wow. Oh, you Just so. maybe enough to where it will not fucking. I'll be able to get home if I can, pop it back. Can we put Will Woods in the front for Will breaks? Woods. We'll Will see. Woods are fucking we'll hard. We'll see what's compatible. They, 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 oh, it's definitely compatible. All of it's compatible. Yeah. Just as long as they clear your wheels, bro, you're good. Brembo's. Brembo's. Yeah, Will Woods, they're a little bit more budget friendly. Yeah. Brembo's is where it's at, though. Brembo's is where it's at. We've tested them yes. plenty of times, yeah. and they so, work. They that's work. that's as far as upgrades goes. That's what's gonna happen. Just just like I said, because I mean, don't get me wrong. I would like a better ride because that's what I've I've ridden in the cars that do have bags and they do ride a whole lot better um, when they're properly at the at the right ride height. You know, because when you're down, when you're bagged out, when you're aired out all the way, no, no, ass. it's a stiff ass ride. You know what I mean? Then aired up all the way, like if you want it high. Super fucking bouncy. Ass. 
So like mid mid level when you have them dialed in, yeah. Because I've been looking, I've been um actually looking into just been looking spending um spending a little more money and doing the um the ride tech setup with the computer because it's the best one. Yeah, the best one. just so that you don't. I mean, switches would be cool, but no. As far as like that truck does not deserve switches. Yeah. As far as as far as like it's not hydraulic, so you're not gonna be hitting them all the time like but that. But he is though. He will be hitting them all the time. But I'm just saying, as far as like I could get it set it to, it comes with those preset uh, parameters like aired out all the way, or then and then your different different ride height heights. So I think I'm gonna go that route, just because you know. I see you. Cool. But that's the truck talk. There's there's that. So we got a little couple fucking. Little topics. We'll cut. We'll do only two because it's fucking hot. Can we just talk about the heat? The heat. Oh no, that's coming up though too. Can I we got, just talk we got about something, the heat? Something like that. It's so hot. there's a story that Vanessa sent me. It says right here: escaped chimp wheeled back to Ukrainian zoo on a bicycle. So there's like a literal fucking chimp, and they're fucking like putting a fucking jacket on them, and they're putting putting them on a bicycle. So why? Why I don't know. He escaped. Look, look at that fucker, dude. Damn, that's a big fucking chimp, Big motherfucker. Dude. That's, an, that's an adult. A What's senior. That? Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking adult. Look at that fucking... Yeah, that's <laughs> that fucking, fucking dipping now. Where's Theo Vaughn at right now, <laughs> Master Chimp Hunter? Yeah, remember that story? <laughs> oh, it's an employee. Oh, so... I thought it was like random of the mill fucking person that fucking found him and shit. I mean, that's kind of fucking dangerous, don't you think? <laughs> okay, okay. So they're putting a jacket on him. Yeah. All right. What's the jacket for, though? I don't know. Is Make it raining or some shit? I don't know. Make him feel safe or something, I think. Okay, you're like, clothing you know? him. Okay. Yeah. Now this fool looks like fucking the man in the yellow suit. And now they're putting him on a bicycle. But he, but he took the fucking jacket off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got hot. You know what I mean? But yeah. Fucking. Uh, fucking story. Chimpanzee escaped from Ukrainian zoo and was returned to the facility on a zookeeper's bike. <laughs> Chichi. Primate's name was Chichi. Good name. Good name, actually. Strong name. Strong fucking name. That's hilarious. So, speaking of this fucking heat, recently there's a Oklahoma news anchor that suffered the beginnings of a stroke on live TV. So, Oklahoma news anchor suffered the beginnings of a stroke during a live TV broadcast Saturday, she said, after appearing to struggle to speak in the on-air incident. I saw the video. It was pretty funny. She's, like, all stumbling on her fucking words. I don't think they fucking... We do not think strokes are funny. No, strokes aren't funny, but in this situation, pretty fucking funny. And then I'll bring up another situation, that iconic fucking moment of fucking stroke fucking television. The best ever, I think, and most of us should know. Which I did. One it is. I did. I didn't know. Medical episode, and it happened during a live weekend broadcast. The Tulsa, our, the Tulsa Air and Space, Space Museum is hosting a launch uh, today at the, at the, at the really event. Well, anchor Julie Chin says now she had lost partial vision in one eye in that moment. Her arm went numb, and then she, she really knew something was wrong when she couldn't speak the words that were right there in front of her. She was taken to the hospital right away. Later, she posted on Facebook that the doctors think she was having Facebook. the beginnings of a stroke, but not a full stroke. She says her tests have actually come back great so far. Um, she should be just fine. She's but yeah. Um, this one's dicey. Well, here's the thing, though. This like, one's that, dicey that because you know what? Me hey, all the time. Yeah. My fucking left eye yeah. fucking starts switching, and then my fucking left arm starts hurting. Too. Yeah. 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 I don't fucking smell toast. Now. But I think that's a heart attack, though, right? Here's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that is smell, definitely a heart attack. When you smell right, toast. That, that you means smell you're toast. Having a, you're yeah, having a fucking heart you're attack. You're fucking having a heart attack. Yeah. Now, you're not toasting bread, obviously, right? Bro, but, my thing is, like, you fuck up one word, and that's your job. You know, I would probably, I fuck me up. You know, like, fuck. oh, wait, I think he's having a stroke right now. I've done it before where it's like, well, fuck. You know, it, it fucking happens where yeah. you fuck up one word and it just goes to shit. Yeah, you, it's just a chain reaction of you fucking up words. And then you probably getting all nervous. You're on TV. Maybe your fucking eye starts twitching, you know? 
<laughs> it's hot, you know. Yeah. I mean, I spaz out just to spaz out. Luckily, it hasn't been a stroke. I mean, I hope she's okay. I hope it really. I mean, I don't hope it really was a stroke. Maybe, maybe I think she it just. Was dehydrated. I think yeah. Maybe, what yeah. if she did cocaine the night before? Yeah, that's a possibility as you well. Know, that's a very a really big possibility. Party, you know? Oh, these news. Hey, speaking lead. of these news people, bro. Hey, they're they're wild, bro. Chris Burroughs. They've always. Oh, been the wild. one that got fucking uh, caught up in a hotel room, like. He died. Rest doing, in peace, Chris Burroughs. But hey, man, they 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 felt talk. different. Wilding, bro. they 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 be wilding out there. But my favorite fucking on live fucking stroke fucking having shit is off the bat. Wendy really? Williams passing out during her fucking Halloween episode, I, I, dude. I <laughs> dressed so, as Lady Liberty, bro. Dressed as Lady Liberty, dude. It's so good. Look. <laughs> It's so wrong. So bad, bro. I'm not laughing at all. Boom, <laughs> homie. <laughs> they kept rolling, though, bro. Yeah, they, they, did they, 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 in, bro. Like, they did her wrong. They did her wrong. Look at the zoom. Yeah, Look at the zoom. Her, her eyes are all popping out. out and shit. They following oh. him, bro. The cameraman is a menace, bro. Yeah, He's a fucking exactly. menace, dude. The camera looks so good, dude. The cameraman either got fired. Or got a bonus. I'm yeah, one or the other. Because uh, made it viral, no, dude. Fuck, there's no way people were trying to watch Wendy Williams. There's no the way that, on like, Twitter. damn, you, you didn't even fucking try to help, bro. She's you like, fucking followed her down, dude. Our first grip. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. And she fucking threw yeah, it. Was, that dude, was, it looks like it. somebody, like, swept her feet, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, she, yeah. she just... Like, someone did that fucking uh, Mortal Kombat move. Yeah. Just fucking... Yep, yep. You know? Hit X. Yeah. Yeah, it was was bad. All-time best fucking passing out on fucking television. I what is your most memorable goes to fucking uh, uh, TV moment? On TV. Oh, easy. The guy that was on a high-speed ch- uh, pursuit chase on the fucking freeway here in uh, uh, South LA, and he pulled over to the side, and he was, like, pulling shit out of his truck. Fucking helicopter was fucking zooming in on him. Fucking caught his pants on fire. I remember this shit. I was, like, seven, dude. Caught his pants on fire, and then fucking... Just pulled out a fucking shotgun and just went boom, blew his fucking brains out on live television, no dude. Way. I swear to God, it was it was on live television. They had the, they had the they had the family like kind of talking to them like in a sense, and you can hear them crying on the fucking news, fucking um shit. You can hear them crying. That's what fucking blew his fucking brains out. Not only that, I remember the next day on the fucking paper. I don't know if it was the Los Angeles Times or whatever. Front fucking page was the visual of the guy laying on the floor with the fucking uh, shotgun and the blood just fucking like gushing out. And I remember it was this food blew his brains out and then just fucking blood just like it was a lot of it. And I remember because fucking uh, my mom was like, why are you watching that? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like I was just watching <laughs> it. <the> news. <laughs> yeah, I was just watching it because I was obviously watching cartoons or something like on Fox, Breaking Fox news. 11. Yeah, yeah. And then that came on. And then I remember my mom got mad because Vanessa and Omar, they got into her fucking pantry. And spilled honey all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit to a T. That shit was traumatizing. We got one kid's fucking up the pantry. One kid's watching violent spinning news television. On one side, spinning mm. honey on the other. Yeah. Uh, Wh- what do I do? Who Not do I lie, I it was pretty right traumatizing though, because I was like, damn, that's fucking crazy. I, that was the first I, time I saw I someone. That was like the last time they showed yeah. So then that's when they came up with that fucking like that so live delay. Yeah, yeah, that live delay where they can fucking cut out yeah. and shit. But yeah, that's that's mine. For sure, off the bat. Um, probably most recent one too was the the motorcycle guy. Boom, and he got fucking oh, hit that car. Oh yeah, yeah, and he yeah. surfished. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a crazy one. Yeah, that was that was pretty early. I mean, there's a lot now because of like you know IG, YouTube, and all that. But I'm talking about like live, like television. live television. Like you're watching it. Yeah. Like you're watching it. Not like you saw it. The, yeah, you no, saw the video so after. There was the other yeah. one where like um, I mean, I think a funny one is when. You know, they're like going, uh, there's a high speed pursuit, and then they're going through Compton, mm-hmm. and there's a guy oh, like on his phone, like hey, watching it on the fucking watching it, and he goes like to the window, and it's like the cops. And then he's like, his the house. car comes out, and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, like, oh shit. Yeah, that's the, the that was same a good car one. case. Yeah, that was a good one. So what about the one where the fools um, uh, steal the money from the armored fucking truck? And they're throwing it out the fucking window. Yeah, oh, that was a good oh, one. yeah. The Brings truck. And then they were telling people to return the money. Return the money. Yeah, everyone's like, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I remember the one when there was like this fifteen-year-old girl who like stole a car or something, and she went to Magic Johnson Park, and she was like doing donuts like around there, and it was like. I don't remember that one. I don't remember, I remember that one. because it was right next to our school, and she was started like. Oh, and you guys were there? there? Yeah. We were oh, lunch. nice. And the girl's like, hey, and everybody just went up to the, the gate and just started seeing it. But she was like riding around doing Horrible stuff. ass little kids, huh? Yeah. Welcome to the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> yeah. Cheering them on. Yeah, they're Cheering like, hell on. yeah. Can you go? Who, who is she? Like, what was her name? You know, what was her name? <laughs> Put her on blast, hey man. Or what about the the motorcycle guy who was like pop blocking on his bike while he was getting chased? And I don't when remember they started that one. to arrest him, like he starts like fucking break dancing. No, <laughs> you know? I don't remember that starts one. Starts pointing at the, the the helicopter, at the, the camera at the helicopter and whatnot. That would have been a good one too. Yeah, that was nice. But yeah, that was fucking dope. Going out with a bang. Crazy ass, crazy ass fucking news. Crazy ass television, and a crazy ass drive for fucking James to Ventura. Crazy ass drive for Ventura. And this fucking heat. We're in a heat wave, guys. Please do not charge your electric vehicles, Ramte. Yeah. And uh, do not use um, large appliances between the hours of 4 to 9. You know, let's let's help this flex alert, mm. you know. Yeah. And uh, if you want to cool off, don't use water. Yeah, do not use water. Do not use water. Use ice. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at okay. that. This was fucking uh, episode 24 and... 20, oh, shit, 25. Oh, 25, 25, baby. I was thinking about episode 24 because I just, you know, put it all together last yeah. night. But episode yeah. 25. Episode 25. We're fucking That's in for the 25 in deep. Shit's insane. And this is the Unusual Friend Podcast. Okay, we'll leave it at that and we'll see where this goes. Catch you guys later. <laughs>